up our next guest. He's a very funny actress and comedian you know from the show Insecure on HBO. Her brand new book is this. It's called Bamboozled by Jesus. It comes out Tuesday, God willing. Please welcome Yvonne Orji. <laughs> I know you work today. You're shooting the final season. The final season of Insecure. Is it getting sentimental on set? Today it did, because we actually had our final table read. Oh, today was the last table read. Yeah, oh, there yeah. might have been some thug tears shed. There were, huh? I was a little mad a little bit. But prior to today, me, Issa and I would like <laughs> be on each other's like sets, our apartment sets, and we'd be like, I'm taking that when we rap. No, 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 I want that from your apartment. And so, and so we're like calling divs, like for a set. Do you deck. get to take things from each other's TV apartments? It seems like you get the stuff in your TV apartment and that's it. Jimmy, why are you trying to block my blessing? <laughs> like, <laughs> let me have it. Issa has nice stuff too. <laughs> this is quite a title. It's a really good title, Bamboozled by Jesus. It, now, this, I wonder if it'll be in like the Christian section or the bamboozled section. <laughs> Or the comedy section? Where I, will it be listed? I feel like Barnes & Noble's is, is conflicted as well. Um, uh -huh. I don't know. It'll be in the Christian slash memoir. I don't know. Barnes says Christian. Noble says bamboozled section. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whatever section gets most people to buy it, like, that's the section I want. This is a story about your life, your family. By the way, you brought me some food today. I did. I got to tell you something. And I'm not, I'm not exaggerating. I had it before the show. It is one of the most delicious things I've ever eaten in my life. I brought Jimmy jollof rice, authentic Nigerian jollof rice, so. His absa is a little bit spicy. It's a little spicy. And very tasty. Veronica's very Kitchen good. here in Thank LA. Thank you very much for doing that. You're welcome. You brought, you, is that what you brought Oprah? It is the same thing I brought Oprah, so you're in the same, like, tax bracket. Well, <laughs> yeah, I mean. I just like any connection I have to Oprah. Did Oprah love it too? She was, okay, so when we pitched, <laughs> when we pitched the show, she does love to love rice, I believe, but she wasn't there. She was like telecasted into our meeting and she was really upset. She was like, you brought me food? I don't know why that was like my Oprah impression. But... <laughs> Sorry. You brought me food? And, and like David was there, David Yellowwall, who was EP in my show. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, David, yeah. And he was like, Sorry, Oprah, I'm going to take it home to eat again. <laughs> Very bad British <laughs> accent. Oh, no. David can't take Oprah's food home to eat for himself. He A did. lightning bolt could hit him. He did. <laughs> He did. Oh, my goodness. And, and, That's and, very bold. <laughs> but we still made it. We still made it. You write about your family and uh, your mom. You guys, how old were you when you guys came here? To I was United six States? years old. Six years old. Yes. And your mother never lets you forget that. <laughs> <laughs> she <laughs> never, she never does. Like, her favorite thing to say was, That's not why I came to this country. Like, we would do, like, if I got a B on my report card, she's like, I B. No, 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 no. That is not the reason I came to America. But like, <laughs> well, what was the reason, Bob? Like, I'm doing my best. I hate chemistry. <laughs> you also said that, and correct me if I have this, I have this wrong. I don't want to get it wrong. You said Nigerians are the rudest people in the world. We are the rudest people you will ever, ever be. And I can say that because I'm one of them. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm not rude, but like, like we just will dismantle your soul. Like, have you? <laughs> Jimmy, you have not lived until a Nigerian calls you a foolish goat. A foolish goat. A fo like, that, like, I don't. Why are you being compared to this? It's like, look at you, you imbecile. <laughs> <laughs> imbecile. I feel like that. And yeah. these are people who like you. These are people who like you. Even when we give compliments, it's still like, ah, Jimmy, your time. It's okay. You know, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> That really means I really want your time. Tell me where you got it from. Do you think that's why you got into show business? <laughs> that's because, a kind of affirmation? Be, yes, because there's nothing an exec can say to me that's worse than my family has already said to me. Right, yeah. You're, I'm never going to make it. Oh, my God, thank you so much for believing in me. <laughs> <laughs> has your family, your mom, and uh, et cetera, read the book? They have not, yes. Oh, they've not. Okay. My sister-in-law has, to which she's like, I'm learning so much about your family. Oh, yeah, I was right. Like, Girl, you stay. Like, <laughs> you're it. 
<laughs> yeah, yes. you don't want to run your sister-in-law off. No, but like my mom though has been supporting me through WhatsApp. So she's like forwarded the like pre-order link to all the aunts and uncles. Oh, she has. Oh, oh yeah, which is great. Which, uh, by the way, I was, I, I, first I was like, what is she doing? Why am I getting all these random messages? But then I was like, oh, they pre-ordered. Oh, keep, turn up, ma, turn up, yes. <laughs> Pimp me out. You know, the title, I think, would give people the impression that uh, you're kind of flip about Christianity, but you're not. You're a religious person. Yeah. You are saving your virginity for marriage, which is unusual. Where, where is he? Hurry up. Hey, <laughs> hey, wherever you are, hurry, OK? Please, hey, call Especially me. when your last name is Orgy. I mean. Um, <laughs> but. God has a sense of humor, I would say that. <laughs> yeah, it um, seems so. Yeah, he, this is how he tricked me into the life of my dreams. Can I ask you a serious question, though? Yes. When you say, hurry up, and I know it's, it, we're joking, but do you find that it becomes more difficult as the years go by, or does it get less difficult as the years go by? I mean, I don't know, because this is the last year. Wherever <laughs> you are, <laughs> hurry. Are we talking calendar year? <laughs> December 2nd is my deadline. December 2nd yes. is the deadline. Oh, you're yes. not even giving it the whole year. Listen, it's, we've been in COVID for a long time. Those are dog ears, fam, okay? We'll find somebody good for you. Yeah, I mean, not as good as Jesus, but you, <laughs> yeah. you, uh, you compare Jesus to Ashton Kutcher in the book. I do. And how do they relate to each other? Because, like, you know, I talk about how he's, like, the sovereign prankster. You know, like, Ashton had, like, punked. Uh -huh. And Jesus, sometimes he punks you. But, like, you know, when the white van comes out, it's, it's, it's for good. It's not like you get the last laugh. Not. That guy with the beard and the long hair and the white van, that isn't Jesus. Be careful. Don't get in it with him. No. <laughs> Jesus has dreadlocks, so I don't know. I, was like, I have no idea. But no, because it's, it's kind of the same kind of sentiment of like, you, he tells you to do something, and you're like, fam, this is not it. Also, that's how I talk about Jesus. I'm like, fam, what are we doing, son? Like, who I feel are like we? that's the kind of relationship Jesus would want to have, right? It's the only one I know, so. Okay. <laughs> I mean, he likes DMX, rest in peace. I like DMX. I just, it works, okay? <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of, like, pop culture as well as, like, biblical, like, references in the Bible. What other, bo what other book are you going to get? Cardi B, Nate Dogg, and, you know... Luke, 124. <laughs> not that many of them. They were going to say Luke Skywalker, but I guess not. Uh, Luther Campbell, but uh, all right. Well, the book is called Bamboozled by Jesus. It comes out Tuesday. Pre-order right now. If you're on the WhatsApp, <laughs> if you're on Yvonne's mom's WhatsApp, you know about it already. So, yeah, well, thank you. Right. Great to see you. Thank Yvonne you. Orgy, everybody. We'll be back with Counting Crows. Congratulations on making it to the end of a YouTube video. Why not celebrate by clicking the subscribe button? You earned it.